Yes, yes, yes. What's good? I'd go, I'd go, everybody. Ladies and gents, back for another week. You know how the thing goes. Experts, solid podcast. Back for another week to give you all some sports insight and analysis. It's your boy Sanzo. Fuck the Sans. Sans and Matt. Back again, another episode with my uh, co host, Braylon. And the X Factor. So what's in the night, boy? Yeah, man, anything blessed. That's good. We got a lot of big stuff to talk about this week. A lot of big stuff. So let's jump right into it, man. We got some. The week is finally here. The, week, the, the NFL season is finally here. Yeah, the season is over, so y'all know what that means. The big game is about to start. How y'all feeling about these big games? How y'all feeling about these games? You know, the NFL does a. Uh, to me, they do a great job when it comes to marketing. So week one, they got uh, the Patriots, not the Patriots. Well, they got the Patriots and the Dolphins, which is obviously a rivalry, especially in the Bahamas that we have to look out for. But um, now I see they got week one, they got the Cowboys and the Buccaneers starting off opening night, Thursday night. I saw that. So you got the defending champions versus America's most popular America's team. favorite. So I guess, and I see the crowds, I, uh, not to go off course, but I watched college football all yesterday and I was like, COVID away. <laughs> like, but I see in like 20, 30,000 people uh, in the stands, shoulder to I, shoulder screaming. I was like, okay, not a mask in sight, but anyway, we'll see how the I NBA follow. follows protocols. A red, white, and blue game of text saying them. I, I know that's what you were talking about, but yeah, but they were looking. Hey, it's out there, out there. inside, bro. Hey, it's it's they live it. I mean, I can't really say nothing because, you know, that is the thing tournament we had over the weekend. I already saw much mass there. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I had the difference, the difference is over here, the mass mandate is still active. If, if you're talking about Florida, if, that was, if the game was in Florida, there's no mass mandate. Wait, Wait, this is almost a, any school, bro. All them, all the Alabama them games I watch, I was like, bro, everybody shoulder to shoulder, no mask. But I was like, okay, well, you know, I mean, I love sports, but I love life. I ain't trying to. Well, they get health care over there. They don't have to worry about PMH. Everybody got insurance and all that. They got to worry about PMH. Yeah, they got to worry about that. I got to worry about Yeah, that's a little different stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um before <laughs> before we get into week one projections let's recap the basically the preseason um moves uh you had certain signings certain surprises and then you had certain Sorry. releases and it was like hmm hi boy i don't know that's the biggest thing i saw wrong. was the Cam Newton release from New England. Um, yep. It's been a few days, and it's still a shocker to me because I was like, okay, if they release Cam, Cam probably had something else in the pipeline because they was basically going to make him a backup. And I guess he was like, no, man, I ain't trying to backup here. Someone else done call me. They all release me. We can leave on good terms. Everything cool. Boy, it looked like, boy, that was a dream. Because after that release, I was waiting for the breaking news, you know, Cam <laughs> Newton signed with the Cowboys or the Washington Redskins or some uh, other I mean, team that need a quarterback. Maybe, 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 never get it. maybe your idea is right. Maybe he maybe he didn't have anything secure, but he, I'm pretty sure he had offers. He had called to say, hey, we want to interview you. We want to work you out. So maybe he thought that, you know, it, it was a possibility, but... Uh, in hindsight, maybe you should have stuck there and pack up that rookie. rookie exactly, rookie because almost any team now you go right. to, you're still going to be a backup. Like, even these young fellas producing, bro, you can't, go to, you can't go to almost any team. The only team I could see him, yeah. I thought he would have been able to go to and, and start right away, probably would have been the Washington Redskins. And that's only because they I have think a star quarterback, yeah. and then the, the coach there is his former coach. Yeah. But other than that, yeah. I don't... I don't see that happening nowhere. I think that's an interesting situation. I mean, I think either Washington, like you say, or I looking at maybe Houston, 
right? Because they situation a little unstable. You don't know what happened to um, Deshaun Watson. Watson. You don't know how that could play out. And then... They get Tyrod Taylor. Tyrod Taylor. 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 Taylor is a stable, you know what I mean? Stable quarterback, you know? Solid. But you could argue Cam Newton could outplay him to win the starting job if it comes to that. So I think that's yeah. an interesting situation to look at. But like you said, outside of them two teams maybe, but who, who really could to give him that job that he wants. Wait, even both Wa- teams got, got good QBs. Washington already said that they passed on, on him. Ron Rivera already said they're sticking with Fitzgerald, so. Jesus Christ. They're saying the issues, the issues, hmm. they have an issues with, the issues are Cam's injury history and his, 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 his throwing skill, to be honest. Two things that showed itself last season on the, uh, on the Patriots. I, I don't think we got a, a, a fair shake. Uh, last season, I could be real. I've been a Patriot all my life. Uh, I've been watching the Patriots for like the past 20 years. Mm-hmm. And honestly, that was the worst offense we had in a while. Um, obviously, we had no tight end. We had Welker went well, down injury. We had no wide receiver. Everybody else was rookies or stuff like that. So it's like, we didn't even have a stable running back. One week is Sonny Michelle. The next week is is the the rookie they had. The next week is James White, and you yeah. be like, "What? Like, what's going on here, bro?" So, and that was one of the reasons, honestly, why yeah. Tom Brady left. Because Tom Brady was like, "But even yeah, though, like, he's not at his peak, so he knows he's on a decline." But if I'm on a decline, you should be yeah. doing more to help me. Yeah, yeah. I can't be on a decline. Well. And then you 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 trading away all my pieces. You ain't resigning people, and you got the line getting old, and half the line ready to retire. But yet you expect me to hold this team together? No man. Let me go to Tampa Bay yeah. where you get a bunch of young receivers, young linemen, young yeah. running back. See what happened there. Yeah. I read an article that the Patriots uh, before Cam, the Patriots uh, touchdowns were sixty percent passes. That season with Cam, their touchdowns was 38% passes. I mean, so but he, he, he did run more, fair, more touchdowns than, than yeah. pass. But we know that's his game. Like. Yeah. To be fair, I mean, he did start off decent before he had COVID. Before he had COVID, I think everything went down after that. And um, I think that was a part of the decision. Even though Bill came out later and said that because he's unvaccinated, that wasn't a a part of his release, but mm-hmm. I think that's foolishness. At the end of the day, Bill Belichick prides himself on being prepared. Win or lose, you can't never say Bill Belichick wasn't prepared. Even when we lose a game, you can't never say Bill Belichick wasn't prepared. Well, it's just that we just didn't win. So now if you have a QB where he always out five days, seven days because of contact tracing or he and this yeah. and that, but if I, you only get six days to prepare till next week, and two of them days is rest days. So you got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday basically walkthroughs and Saturday is walkthrough. You, you really you really can't miss your QB for the five days of the week. Yeah, you use a liability. And at the end of the day, even if he say it didn't it didn't directly lead to it, I feel like indirectly it could have lead, it, it probably did. Because look at it, look at it like this. If if Cam Newton isn't missing for a portion of the preseason, Mark Jones doesn't get that many reps, right? So he doesn't get a chance to fool that he can be a starting quarterback. Yeah. So as opposed to him getting uh, a few reps a game if Cam Newton is there, you know what I mean? He may look good in a few reps, but that's not enough for you to say, okay, this is a good start. He may just yeah, at the time, At yeah. the time, Cam was leading the, the quarterback competition. Yeah. Yeah. Phil just yeah. said that was his to Lewis. Phil just said, I, I don't see a way I would give that to someone else but Cam Newton. But now you give the rookie a chance to really win the position, and it's like, okay, what did you do at that point? You know what I mean? My thing is, if you look at it, I always tell people this. I played multiple sports, and I realized that football is the ultimate team sport. Baseball, you could be a one-man band. You got fellas on a team who could hit 50 home runs a year, and they team still could be last in the league. <laughs> you could be a one-man band in baseball. Basketball, you could take over a game. Football, 
especially at the quarterback position, you have to realize that your team hinges on you. So I think Bill probably sat down and say, bro, I really need you to get this vaccine. Not because basically your health, because we could look at Cam and say he's probably one of the most in shape guys in the league. Not just quarterbacks. Most of them, probably one of the most in shape guys in the NFL. Uh, the only problem is protocol. There are rules in place that you might not have symptoms or you might not be sickly. You might not even have no traits of any pre-existing health issues. But as long as you are not vaccinated, you still got to get checked twice a week. And if anything comes up, we have to sit you. And at the end of the game, you being our quarterback, you can jeopardize our whole team on a week-to-week -week basis. And we just can't have that. And they say, they probably say, listen, we're not asking you to get vaccinated for you. We're asking you to get vaccinated for the team. And then Cam probably say, listen, I ain't into that. And that time, Mark Jones probably rolling up his sleeve and say, yeah, mm -hmm. I raise you, bro. I got this. Yeah, you ain't into that. I got something. <laughs> you ain't into that? Into that. All right, then. Something. <laughs> so it's, it's sad to me, though, because Cam Newton is, is one of my favorite players in the league. And yeah. I feel like that dude might be done, but like, I mean, not completely done. You could always, you know, some could always shake. But, and then there's also the, the thought about how, how big of a presence is, is, is locker room presence is. So it's like, could he even adapt to a backup world? Because that's, that's true. A, a lot of dudes around the league really respect Yam, but they really respect him. And, you know, having a dude like that in your locker room, you will have some dudes who advocate for him starting. And, yeah. The starting quarterback may not want to look over his shoulder every every couple of minutes to see that but yeah, I'm looking behind me. And yeah. people people want to play with him. You know what I mean? So that's a challenge in and of itself. So Yeah, that too. And then also you have to realize there are guys that have a certain aura, a certain energy. Guys like Cam Newton, from I've been watching him from Auburn days. Cam Newton is the guy on the sideline. He's always cheering. He's always jumping, he's always dancing, he's always taking pictures and throwing footballs to the fans. So that brings a certain demeanor to your team. But that as long as Cam is happy. So imagine now, you don't have this guy on your team for, this is second year, he done build a relationship with linemen, uh, coaches, uh, fans. And then now, he was cheering on Mark Jones all the time while Mark Jones was doing good. But that's when you were sure you was the starter. Now when yeah. you're not the starter, you on the sideline now with a clipboard in your hand, you down, you saying, man, it ain't yeah, the same exactly. energy. So the guys who were inspired by you and looking for you to bring that energy game to game and you over there waving the towel and having a good time, now when they look at you, you got the clipboard in your hand, you looking around. So it, it, it does affect the team because you're a team leader and they feed off your energy as the guy who brings that energy like Ray Lewis and stuff like that, they're the guys that fire yeah. up the team at the beginning of the game. If Ray Lewis is in there, the guys will tell you, but it's a whole different energy going into the game. Like, we don't even feel the same going on the field. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, I think, it's, I think this opportunity is going to come this, this, this season. And unfortunately, injuries are a part of the game. And I think mm. there's going to be significant injuries this year as it was last year and i think this opportunity is going to come uh, really capitalize on it i don't know because like you said i mean they these other teams will have the same issues listen we have 90 percent vaccination rate 99 percent we're not going to bring Tampa on. bay just reported 100 percent, including tom brady yeah i mean that's a huge issue so he's gonna let that who also came out and say that he caught COVID after the parade <laughs> yes, I mean, so, you bet. <laughs> so you he, he already be. has obstacles. If he's going to let that also yeah. be an obstacle that he should be able to control, then I mean, he have an uphill battle because he's yeah. he's not a big door. He that dude. No. Go line, you know what's going to happen. Cam Newton got the ball go line. It's so predictable. I mean, I've watched his games and and every single to time. To be honest with you. I, I ain't gonna lie. I feel that Mark Jones does fit better in our system. Like I said, I watched the Patriots all my life and I know people look at Belichick. It's not Belichick. To be honest with you, Belichick actually more concerned with the defense and special teams. Mm -hmm. Josh McDaniels runs that offense. Josh McDaniels is the guy that 
puts the skin together and Josh McDaniels never in his whole career had to deal with a running quarterback or a guy who rather pull the ball down and throw. Or even when he when he does throw, he, he, he likes to throw the deep ball. If you look at Cam, Cam always stays back and he pats the ball for at least three seconds before you look at his check down. That's not what Josh McDaniels like. He likes guys who make that two-step, three-step drop and you fire it no. up. Your check down is actually your first option. That's why with Brady, guys like Van Edelman could have eat more than guys on the outside. Mm-hmm. So now Cam, he looking for guys on the outside. Wow. But what I saw in preseason, by Mark Jones, he getting across the middle and he getting the he running backs and slants. He like middle guys. He like now you always could sneak a team and quick exit. with play action, yeah. and you could always go deep. But that deep ball can come off deception. That ain't gonna come off. Oh, you was my number one receiver, and because you was the biggest guy like Nikhil Harry, because you six four two fifty, or just run down there and put it in the air. That's not the Patriots game. Our game is five yards, seven yards, yep. ten yards, yeah. nine yards. They didn't know fifteen yards, twenty yards. But yeah. I just feel like Mark Jones honestly is a better fit. And if Belichick could trust you, this is the same guy who sat Jimmy Garoppolo. This is the same guy who sat Matt Castle. This is the same guy who sat Jacoby Brissett. So Belichick don't never give rookie no keys. The only reason Brady got the keys is because Bledsoe had to get injured. He didn't even give Brady the keys to the to the to the <laughs> band. And now you got a fella who I felt, to be honest, is more ready than Trey Lance. Throwing wise. I, I, Trey Lance is a better athlete. I, and he yeah. has better intangibles, but a pure passer, a pure passer. Mm-hmm. I watched Trey Lance, he's still even working on a spiral. He could pass the ball, but his ball still comes out loose. With a yeah, pure passer, you could see Mark Jones right now is ready to be a pure passer in the NFL. Yeah. And then the system should fit him, like you say, the system should fit him seamlessly. Um, playing inside. Really 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 yeah. Playing inside offensive systems that work towards your talent, you know, yeah. you could, you, you'll be able to adjust and adapt mm-hmm. quicker. So I, and I expect very- he'll have a good year, actually. He take and plus the our system takes a lot of weight off him because number one, we are run we are run offense now, more than the past that when Brady was there, we are more run offense now, and also like so you you wouldn't have that pressure as a rookie quarterback to throw, thirty touchdowns and throw the ball fifty times a game. Most of the time we run in the ball power run that's why we pick up two big tight ends we power run in, and then when you do drop back. We only looking for a little five yard, ten down, ten yard dump off to get the first down. So I think he'll 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 thrive because it isn't the pressure of of uh, Trevor Lawrence. He doesn't have the the pressure of the guy um, to New Jersey with the Jets. So uh, like I feel he'll he'll do much better because you know it's and then plus you ain't even got the pressure Cam there no more. Your backup is Brian Hoyer. And he been the yeah, backer for about four for years and never touched the field. <laughs> so yeah. it's like you ain't even got no pressure, bro. Okay. So they basically oh, have to stay healthy after you had a successful preseason. So I, yeah. I feel good about him and confidence, play. You know, confidence in the green light. That's, that's, thing, that's one of them. That's one of the biggest drugs in, in, in sports history. But once yeah. you get that, you could you could do almost anything, but you could do almost All anything. All they asking so, him to do is not turn over the ball. And that was Cam's shoe. Even when he ran the ball, he fumbled it a lot. Yeah. So he throwing yeah. interceptions. You're not throwing touchdowns. Then you're uh-huh. running. You're fumbling the ball. You're getting injured, and you're catching COVID. And come on. <laughs> and you're saying, bro. and you're saying, don't relax. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro, man. You got this uh, young fella yeah. in here who ain't turning over the ball. Who handing the ball off, and he get it back to man, bro. And on top of that, when we had Cam last year, we got him for like a veteran minimum. This year, we actually gave him a pay raise. We gave yeah. Cam $14 million this year. And you can tell us you ain't taking a vaccine for the team? Uh, okay, then. He felt Good thing we ain't giving no game. Him, he ain't get week one check yet. Uh, but I know. But no NFL I contracts like, will be fully guaranteed. Yeah, yeah exactly. You got to play a certain amount of snaps. You got to make the roster. They have like, uh, what do they call it? Roster bonuses. He didn't even make the roster, so he might not even get a bonus. Yep. What? Yep. 
Well, the only like I said, the only thing I I feel is if he could do is just wait and see how this uh, this Texan situation plays out. Um, I I see that as the only probably fit for him right now um, as a starting quarterback. Otherwise, I don't I don't see him as a starter nowhere. Else. As uh, I mean, and that system, uh, Watson is a similar. You know, has a similar style to him, so maybe, maybe they, maybe he should be one of the first people they look at. I yeah, mean, you know, hold on now. That that Watson. Let's not forget be. that before, before this whole thing that they did with him, Watson did lead the league in passing yards his last right. season. Yeah, passing Watson, yards, so right. he does have the intangibles to run. And score with his legs, but he still all throws yeah. the yeah. best quarterbacks in the league, which Cam cannot do. No, Cam no. is Cam. Cam is no Watson. That's that's that yeah. was not. Not at all. I wasn't trying to say that. No, even never. Cam, Cam has never been a passer like Watson. Passer like but Watson. I mean, watch one season. Yeah, one, one season. season like, he wild out. Like two years he ago, he in years. 2015. Yeah. Nah. Stop yeah. with that. I'm not sure, but yeah, that was this year. NBB, yeah, yeah, he was dominating the run in 2015. But I think like two or three seasons ago, he had like a career high in completion percentage, and it was just a lot of injuries from, from there on out. So it's like it's almost like when he had that good spread, he never really could have stayed healthy. Mm-hmm. And now you are in the COVID situation, uh, it makes it even worse. Yeah, and exactly. also, because he's a running quarterback, you also have to reasonably flip and wonder by how long could this boy stay healthy? Because, I mean, his, his legs are a lot quicker than, than, than a guy like Brady or like Brady on, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. how much miles <laughs> he gets put on it. Yeah, so, uh, but there's been no shorter than, than uh, Rich Carter. There's been no a lot shorter, you know what I mean? Speaking, so, speaking of Brady, I don't know if y'all caught the segment earlier this week or this weekend and Brady said he doesn't agree with the way the NFL officiates QBs and the offense. He said they penalize defensive players for offensive mistakes. I heard that. I, I, he was, and I was, and everybody was shocked because yeah, everybody was, was like, defense. if there's one person you can't touch in the league, <laughs> it's Tom Brady. Like you missing roll passes leg. That's 15 yard penalty. So everybody was shocked, but it shows that even though, like Belichick say, it's not my fault that you have loopholes in your rules. So if I exploit your loopholes, it's not my fault. It's your fault that you have loopholes. You need to tie your loopholes up. So it shows that Tom Brady understands that the game does favor the offense, but he still is not that type of guy who can say, oh, well, I like it that way. He still said, yeah. listen, I, I, I really believe that we, we're not putting our best product on the field. Like the old NFL but, was better. Yeah, the greats, the greats they, they, they know how to adjust and adopt. And at the same time, they could be real with the fact that, you know, certain things are the way they are. So, I mean, it's similar when you see to the NBA, when people say, oh, the NBA was more physical back in the day. That doesn't mm-hmm. mean that I wouldn't be doing the same thing I doing, but it just means, you know, I just speaking, speaking from the heart, I speaking truth. The grace will always adopt them. You know what I mean? And, and, and Brady is a and that, adds, and that usually adds to, to their longevity. You know what I mean? Like it's usually, it's usually those people who can adapt to the rules and who can adapt to the culture is the ones who have the longest grass. Yeah. Exactly. The good, like I say, it was surprising to see that him himself came out and said that, not a report, or not an agent said, or someone close to Tom Brady said, it was good to see that Tom Brady said it. And then you know, on the NBA that. side, you know, that's different because we have a so-called great in the NBA who says that, oh, um, I can dominate any era, but we know better. <laughs> Bell- Fellas brush past each yeah. chin, he was on the floor. You know, hey, you remember last playoff and he's doing the eye. I think the boy was seeing him and did the, yeah, and he's on the floor. Uh, and he's uh, like, Memphis he's like, yeah. I was like, but, what? No, but, but uh, uh, you know what? Uh, that goes back to my point, the longevity of it all. Players like that learn how to take advantage of the system yeah. and they are rewarded with longer careers. 
Yeah. Like, yeah, let's be real. Really we know, you know, yeah. we know what that particular player does. We know he don't have to do it. But at the end, it's a chess match. <laughs> yeah, and it's, and it's, it's a chess match. Feel, he feel he is he he's that? doing the right thing for his team in, in his eyes. Yeah, but to answer the match. question for the comment, <laughs> let's, to answer the question for the comment, did the, did the Patriots make the right decision in terms of? I, I ain't call no name, but uh, Odon. I ain't call no name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's the right the right 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 I think we yeah, I, I think they, made the right decision. Yeah, they made the right decision. It, it yeah. was a, it was a sad decision for me because I like Yam a lot, but they made right. the right decision based off the events that happened. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, and, you got to go with the person who, if he's younger and he fit the system a lot better, that's a no-brainer in any sport. Any sport, I, across feel, the board. I feel they made the right decision short term and long term because in short term people can probably he probably might have a bad game he might even have a bad week one game and people might start roasting him but you can't worry about the critics these are the same critics who when tom brady had a bad game against the kansas city chiefs like three four seasons ago and they roast tom brady i think he threw like four interceptions and they was like oh he's heading off a cliff he should retire <laughs> He should this, he should that. By the end of the season, Tom Brady won the Super Bowl. So he has, I, I feel like if he has to go through a, 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 a fiery pit, now would be the time. If he, goes to the Dolphins, worry, yeah. if he goes down to the Dolphins right now, and you know the Dolphins have a, a old defensive coordinator, so he might put together a good scheme and they might lock Mark Jones down and punch his head off. But if he has to get his head punch off, I'd rather it be week one, two, and three than week 13, 14, and 15. Makes sense. Yeah. So what y'all think? Some interesting teams to watch in the NFL this year. What y'all think? Uh, some interesting storylines to get into. One of the most interesting for me is uh, the Washington football team because um, I've been a person who's been riding Ryan Fitzgerald for some time now in fantasy. And, you know, he always yeah. has those three, four, or five magical games where, you know, he looked like the GOAT. And then we all know it's it's kind of like he can't do it, but it's more, you know, an insanity thing. So now he has his right. own team, and it's a pretty good team, especially defensively. So uh, people are saying they need to watch him and see if he can actually carry a team or it's just because he's a. Uh, Baka could be playing good in a, in a you know on the system that he gets those one two three games. So I really looking for. I did draft him. Yes, I did. I really looking forward to seeing if he could carry his team. <laughs> That's that was my big risk. I every draft I have to take a big risk, and I took it on him just to see if Fitz oh, Fitz Magic could last the whole season for once. The fact that you can't right. even remember your name and you just call the man Fitzgerald instead of Fitzpatrick. Should let you know uh, that my, he's not I, that guy. I just call him Fitz He's Patrick not that his... guy, buddy. He, no, he's not. <laughs> he's not that okay, guy. Okay, here's my point. He hasn't been. <laughs> he hasn't been that guy ever. Exactly. So I'm kind of hoping that this is his time to show that he is that guy. I, I'm, I mean, it, it wouldn't be a risk if it was. It wouldn't be a risk if it was someone that I knew was good. Would it? Like I wouldn't be taking a risk on. Russell Milton. It's a risk for reason. It's Fitzpatrick. So, right. That's Every year, I must say, that do it when he has an opportunity. He's, he's turning, he's turning into magic. Into career, he's turning like, into magic. He, go to, he got a five, six game stretch where yeah. he looked like, like Brian Baden Monin. And then <laughs> the, rest, the, rest, the, the rest of the games, he's looking like he belongs to the league. Right. Exactly. So, but it, it uh, usually comes at at a situation where he's a backup, mm-hmm. uh, or he's in temporarily. Like, okay, you are ready at week six. Your QB gone now for three, four weeks. You got four weeks to shine, and then you know once yeah. this QB come back, you back on the bench. But mm-hmm. when he on a team where he's the clear number one, and you got him starting week one for the whole season, yeah. Boy, yeah. I, See, that's nice when you job. could scheme them properly, you know what I mean? You could you could you could construct your game plan around stopping <laughs> exactly. them. Exactly. When, when he inserted mid season, it's almost like okay, like, all right, what does play could do? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what he really can do. 
especially when you when you text it. it. It all depends too on the temperature of the season too. He had he had some seasons with the Dolphins and like, I mean, throwaway seasons, really and truly. It wasn't really winning no games like that. So the the the, the team you want, it depends as well. He's more like that where he has that six man vibe to him, like in the NBA, you know, like where I guess certain guys like Jamal Crawford, uh, even going back to guys like Ben Gordon, like when the actual start and shooting guard go down, these guys could play 40 minutes a game and give you like eight points, <laughs> nine points. But then the starter comes back and he comes off the bench and dog only playing like 20 minutes a game. He give you 28 with nine assists. And you'd be like, how, how is that logical? Yeah. How can I let you play the whole game? You yeah. can't produce. Yeah. When I cut your minutes in half, you wild right out. Yeah. You come I in the game. Well. You come in the game. And like, and Lou Williams is a good example. You come in the game. Mm-hmm. And it's like four four minutes left in the second quarter, something like that. You know what I mean? And the starters are out for both teams. So now you got one bench tool trying to guard you. Who <laughs> know he ain't got no business guard, right? <laughs> You didn't end the penalty, you know what I mean? And <laughs> you can just draw fouls and shoot free throws for the rest of the quarter. You say saying? And from there, you get your rhythm, and you go on your way to 20 points. No, please. It was just saying, hey, go to work. Yeah, it's let's go to work. And all us play ball before, all us know, it's a lot less pressure when you come off the bench. Because you know, once yeah. you come in the game, you only really got one job. Yeah. But see, when you play with the starters, you actually got to try it out. Try to win the game. You got to try. You, try. you got to run offense, get fellas involved. Do you got to play the role. If I only got four minutes, coach, you might as well lower your head, bro. I know what <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got to do for these four minutes. You come on the bench, it's no pressure. You know, if you miss a few shots, he can bench you in the retreat. I gave my head a bench anyway. So you might as well just go ahead and play ball. <laughs> just let yeah. it fly. That's it, yeah, bro. that's that. That's the phenomenon that, that fits magic go to. But I mean, uh, if if Washington football team can give them a chance and they something, so I I do do I predict that he is going to lose his starting job. To who? Who's their backup? I don't even know who's their backup. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't think he will. Though Washington football team has a yeah. great defense. They has a, they have a very nice defense and a young yeah, they have a great defense. and they have young so, wide receivers. So let's be real, they won't be win, winning on the offensive end in any event. And then so, they're in a weak no. division, so that helps them. Yeah. So, so I don't, I don't think he's going to lose his time, job. I think you have a good, enough good games to where uh, they'll decide to the weather the storm with them. I, I feel that way. Um, yeah. And like you said, their defense is good enough to where they just need the bare minimum for them. And if he oh, can yeah. do that, then, you know. My team to watch is, uh, is uh, well, my team of interest is the Giants. Um, I'm interested in seeing how uh, Daniel Jones to take a next step this year. He, he had some good moments last year. The flashes, plenty fumbles. He's not, he's not that guy. Plenty <laughs> fumbles. <laughs> but he got a, he got a nice team this year. You got Saquon coming back off injury. You, you got a couple of receivers. You got uh, Tony. You know what I mean, you got Rudolph as a tight end. So I, I'm interested in seeing how how how, how your response. I What's feel with Daniel Jones, he's going to have a better season than last year. But the way his last season went, that's not saying much. So I do give you that, yeah, Daniel Jones will have a better season. But to say top 10, top 15 QB, uh, I doubt it. Um, but Saquon coming back does, does alleviate a lot of pressure off him. Um, Saquon obviously is the starter team, even though Daniel yeah. Jones is a QB. Mm-hmm. Everybody coming to watch Saquon. Yeah, all the defense scheme for Saquon. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it does. We know who, who team that is. Um, my team to watch, to be honest with you, but I have multiple. It's so much storylines, but one of my most intriguing teams, I must say, would be the Cardinals, the Arizona Cardinals. Of course, I love the Patriots. Of course, I love watching Tom Brady. Uh, but I want—I also want to see what Aaron Rodgers can do. 
because I feel he can slack off and essentially give him what he wants. But them Cardinals, just because, number one, they were a borderline team last year. You come in back, Kyler Murray could be your MVP quarter candidate. Um, you you end up getting A.J. Green on the low. People write off A.J. Green, but he had a history of injuries. And then yeah, plus, injured last it's different to when you come back and use a number one, but now you come on a team where you use a number two. So now you only get that double coverage that mm -hmm. everybody eyes on you type thing. Everybody went with Hopkins. So you could slide yeah. across the middle and get a couple one on one matchups that you could beat. Yeah. Also, they have a nice defense. They still have Buda Baker. And also, yeah. they got JJ Watt. Don't forget, they signed JJ yeah. Watt. They still got Chandler Jones. And, bro, the only, thing, the only thing that could stop the Cardinals this year is the offensive line. Even though Kyler Murray um, is a run, running quarterback, that offensive line. Don't even give him time to drop back, bro. There's no way you hutting the ball. And before you could check down your first receiver, fellas coming up the middle, bro. They ain't even coming around the edges. You got guys coming up the middle at you. So it's like, that could be their downfall because their, their running game isn't that strong. They don't have a real tail one running back. But if yeah. Kyler, if they could get that old line to hold for at least three seconds, to where even he could fake like he can pass the ball and then run, they could have a, a big season out there in the Western Conference. I, th I think health is a, is a problem for them too, though. I mean, you know, J.J. Watt, he's a little, little injury prone. You know what I mean? A.J. Green, he what, 30, 32, 33? Yeah, he should be. Uh, and I got Ronnie Hudson, he over 30 as well. Um, so a lot of their key players, all the guys, some injury prone. Um, so health is, a, is is gonna be a serious factor. But if they do stay healthy, and like you said, I like I really like Alan Murray a lot. Um, I think he's he has a chance to be a star in the, in the NFL. So um, and he might be next up. You know, to be honest. So I think if they stay healthy, uh, they have a real chance to you know turn things around. It really be a good yeah. team. We all know who's next up. Stop it. Who's next up? Who's next up? Yeah, let me hear that. Mahomes, bro. Who? He up. Patrick Mahomes. He up. He up. No, he no, 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 no. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. He's not. You cannot. You cannot what? say. You cannot say he is now. If you still have the goat playing the game. Oh. Even on, though man. Tom Brady is not at oh, his okay. peak, the is man. Tom the man just win a seventh Here's Super the question. Bowl. Here's the question. Is Tom Brady the best quarterback in the league right now? He's the go. No. Yeah, <laughs> no exactly. I'm questioning. Okay, let me show you something. Season, Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback. No, no, no. Let me show you the difference. And this is what I tell people with the LeBron story. The way you create a go is by stopping other people from being the go. Mm -hmm. That's how I look at it. If you look at Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes, who did Tom Brady beat in the Super Bowl? Patrick Mahomes. He beat him, but... Uh, Last year. No, no, no. Last year. When Tom Brady went and we beat, beat the Rams, who did we beat to go to the, to the Super Bowl? Patrick Mahomes. So if you look at it right now, Patrick Mahomes had, in the past three seasons, he won one year. The Chiefs did win a Super Bowl. Yep. If it wasn't for Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes would have three Super Bowls right now. He would have this year, we're just gone, the year before mm -hmm. that where they won, and the year before that, because we know if Patrick Mahomes to get to beat the Rams or get to meet the Rams that, that year, Patrick Mahomes then would have been. So yeah, if Patrick Mahomes would have been on a three season Super Bowl win. And the only reason why he didn't win is because he came across Tom Brady. So as the GOAT, your Patrick job Mahomes. is to stop other people from being the GOAT. Yeah, but we're not saying Patrick Mahomes is the GOAT. At least not yet. <laughs> but if he did win them three Super Bowls, what you would be saying? No, we wouldn't have been saying he was the GOAT. Three Super Bowls in your first I'd say he's on his way to be the GOAT. I'd say he's on his way to be the GOAT. I'd say he's on his way to be the GOAT. For me, okay, there's, there's... Three, hold on. These ain't just three Super Bowls, you know. Keep in mind, these are three Super Bowls 
as the best player on the team and the MVP. When Tom Brady oh, yeah, won his first three Super Bowls, he was in the MVP. He wasn't see, even an MVP thing on all the best player my, on the Patriots. See, and that's my point. From at least for me, a big factor in the GOAT conversation is longevity. You can't just come in here like like Jeremy Lin, uh have the greatest three seasons oh, yeah, of all yeah, time yeah. and then leave and say you still got ten games. My point is okay, so Patrick Mahomes came in there, had the greatest three seasons of all time, and then and, does it will he have been the goat? Super Bowls are hard is the he, hardest he, he would have been honest with you to all sports. In no, the I'm sports. Saying, Super Bowl is the hardest I, in the win I, compared to World Series or the NBA championships. But you got my question. If those I get three question. consecutive Super Bowl seasons would have been the only rings he won. In three he years, that's because he already been in the league three years. Chris. No, I'm saying, that but if that was it, that was it. Right. That was been it. In, he been in the league for, but that's why he said I don't come because Alex Smith was there. That would have been the greatest year. It wouldn't. All right, he wouldn't have been the goat. But I'm saying, if we was to just take it from now, three years, three seasons, and you went three right. championships. With the potential and, and to the win media, more. Exactly. The media would run with you that. They don't forget the media has a big part to play. On your way to being a goal. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes yeah. we, we don't we, we stay get we don't really we stay for granted how crazy some of these things is, bro. Wait, that's, that's three seasons, wild, bro. Three seasons. You win three Super Bowls, bro. And an two MVP. And, and, a, two, and two MVP. one he's gonna be all three of those Super Bowls, he's probably gonna be the MVP for three of those Super Bowls. Yeah. Uh, at least two. So he was a three time Super Bowl champion. Three times Super Bowl MVP, one time regular season MVP, fifty touchdowns in a season. Oh, and this man have a whole career in three years. <laughs> but that's an interesting topic, you know. <laughs> and I was segue into into <laughs> too, too far away from this. I got to ask you all a question, right? Do you all think we punish people when they win early, and reward them when they win late? I feel as if <laughs> when people win early in their career, it's almost like a sin. Because now you gotta live up to what you was doing early in your career. Whereas if they win late, they get a little bit more respect for that. Yeah. Which I'll take a hundred percent. I uh, and it's it's a million examples to support that point that that we reward them when they win late versus when they win early. I feel like it's it a million depends. Examples. Like it de- it depends right. on the situation. Like like in Patrick Mohan reason, you understand that. Patrick Mahomes was the reason for you winning. So it's like it's different than I I could be I could be real. Like the first year Brady win, maybe even the second one. I feel like even if Bletzer was there, we had a very good chance of still winning the Super Bowl. So it's like Brady just came in and do what we asked him Mark Jones to do, not turn the ball over. So in his later years, when he won the last three Super Bowls, it was more of a okay, this Brady team. He's slinging, he calling the players, he checking all the things, he checking in the things. Back then, Brady was more of a systematic guy. So it's like, and it, it, it depends on the situation. Like some guys could win early and you're not penalized. I don't know. It, it, it's tight. Not, I not feel very like, much quarterbacks win early though. I feel no, like it's but, like, it's almost like this. Like, like you have, like I think when you win early, you saw that. But even if, even if you don't quite win, even if you succeed or uh, or you know like 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 overperform in terms of expectations, people sort of now put new expectations upon you, right? Mm-hmm. Like even if I was to like switch it to the NBA, right? Um, oh yeah, well you know that's that's hefty. That's that's you know that's common in the NBA, right? But like for instance, Carl Anthony Towns, Carl Anthony Towns second year in the league, people are saying Carl Anthony Towns. Is going to be the best big man in the NBA. And next couple of years, Boy, they're saying they've built their franchise player. around him, right? He still is a very nah. great player. But now it's almost like people forget about him. You know what I mean? So it's like a margin magnifying that to where you win a championship. Let's say the Pistons drop Melo in 03. How differently would we look at Melo Guerrero? Oh, boy. He might have two rings. I know okay? one thing. LeBron would have had a harder time time saying he was the GOAT just off of that one pick. Because Melo would get his ring first. Also, don't forget the Pistons was also the Cavaliers' rival. So that would have been plenty cut up for LeBron them 47 years, bro. It was plenty cut up for LeBron. I exactly. Mean, 
with Tayshawn Prince, he was plenty cut it. So imagine Melo, who was uh, always his uh, rival, and uh, Melo used to tap that when Denver come to town. So imagine Melo on, uh, on a defensive-minded team. Oh, Lord. He owe Melo, uh, he owe Melo a rookie year trophy as well, by the way. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's a whole different okay. story. Okay. That's a whole different story. I feel like... Why he bring Melo to get this ring? <laughs> I feel like when pe- when when players went early, it's always seen as a fluke if they don't win again. Ah. If their if their careers don't continue ah. in that trajectory, it's gonna be seen as a fluke. Versus if they win later, it's seen as hard hard earned determination. Wait so long, and yeah, 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 man, long like, time coming, and, you get to the, and the perfect and example is, is the perfect example is uh when when Dirk won. I mean, <laughs> that still to this day, people are saying it's one of the greatest when you know, one of the championships of all time. It was championship. It was. It was. It was. No, but, uh, but are we saying that because he took so long to get it, or that no, too? And then plus, what he went up he against. Got a competition he beat. You going up against the big three in their prime. Mm-hmm. And Kobe you had literally who was his number two? Jason Terry. Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd. Tyson Chandler. Come on, Kobe, man. Kobe coming off a two feet, and Kobe won the three feet now. So he beat Kobe coming off a two feet. He beat a young Thunder team. Uh, yeah. KD, Russ. Durant, KD. I mean, Durant, Westbrook, and Harden. Yeah, and then you come back and you beat the big three, like you say, in their prime. In their first year together when Wade was playing at his, at the, at his highest level. Mm-hmm. So that's oh, why I think people look at impressive. I love it. But also, like you say, the fact that he had already been through his struggles. He had already lost to, in 06 to Miami. And he had already uh, lost in, that was 07 in the first round or something like that. The first round, he's the number one seed and he, and he loses the number eight seed. So he had been through a lot of playoff struggles. I mean, the year when they give him uh, MVP over Kobe. And he, MVP and he, and he get knocked out from Byron Davis yeah. in the first uh, round. Um, Make it too much. Baby Logan. Uh thank you very Come much on. for too much. Wait, wait. Everyone always is the only the, I mean, the only point y'all is look at is okay, look at Kobe points per game. As if they wasn't horrible. Uh, wait, right. 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 you saying points per game like Kobe was right. the right. best right. two way player, bro? Then, no, Kobe was the, the best man was the best player. He was a two-way player. He was also on first de- team all defense. Yes, it was not just his 35 points a game. It's also locking up the best player on that end. Right, but we know Racket has a lot to do with that. Don't we? James Harden. Uh, so what uh, happened to Westbrook? Um, Westbrook win, win MVP Westbrook of the 16th. the first, yeah, because he got it. Uh, and yeah, that's because we had the petition, because we already saw field. other guys got, got robbed before. <laughs> Shout out, shout out, Slimmy. Uh, shout out, Timmy, and shout out, Odon. I say, I see y'all. I see y'all. But, okay. <laughs> like I said, go, before, I the, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no, I was saying going back to the original point. I mean, even with uh, with uh, Jordan, Jordan lost what the first seven, seven years of his career. Uh, nobody ever said, oh. He ain't he ain't um, amount to nothing. I mean, he's winning MVP, so I guess. It's, I gonna say. Yeah, I guess. It's, yeah. He ain't like he was just losing straight say. up. He was. I didn't want defensive MVP. player of the year. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I, I think, think I, I, example. I think people like to see struggle. You say that even with Giannis, Maybe. Giannis ain't old at all. Giannis, what, 25, 26? But mm-hmm. Giannis ratings going way up this year, right? Because people watch him get Ian Marsh in the last couple of playoffs. So. Yeah. And and now you come out this year and draw fifty in game seven. So mm-hmm. as opposed to like it and his first playoffs he did win, and you would see a lot of disdain. You would see people like almost like losing family like fail almost like you know, like this is a fluke. Because people, you know, people don't wanna believe that you could actually win just coming together. People don't wanna believe that. But it does happen sometimes, rare occasions, but it does happen. And don't yeah, forget Giannis did win. Literally, by a, a toe. If the round spin was a three pointer, <laughs> the game would have never gone to overtime. Uh, the Nets would have won game seven, and the Nets would have made it to the finals against 
and James Harden and Kyrie would have been back, the Nets probably would have been the champions right now. Yeah, but, five, and five, 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 uh, and NBA. You know what I say? Boy, we get plenty yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, But that's the biggest if I've but, ever seen in life, though. That is, but, I, we always say if, but that if is. Yeah, that's that one toe. Come on, be, if the Nets that win, was, you're going against the Hawks next round. And then you get Kyrie and James Harden back. And then yeah. you go into the finals against Lawn Chair, uh, Chris Paul, and whoa, a young. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. Let's, t- let's, let's tone down the disrespect a, a tad bit. <laughs> Man, that Chris Paul cool. was an MVP candidate this year. Candidate? Maybe. No one remembers second top, place, bro. He was top ten. Wow. <laughs> hey, funny, 250 hey, million. Hey, you only remember two. I don't remember to give you a trophy for coming in second in MVP race. Yeah, boy, celebrating early, though. Chris Paul is celebrating after that game, too. Yeah, yeah. Say, but yeah, on the side there, boy. Two hey, more. Go, go. What do you say? Wait, hey, tell him say two more. Boy. Boy. That was enough. Nice. The broad thing. What I see the broad three. Two more CP. I say yes. I heard from you. Yeah, no. I say that's it. That's it. No, but, no, but, but hey, hey, but you know what? That goes back to what we just said. People love to see struggle. Who struggled more than Chris Paul to even make it to the finals? That but dude struggled. I still yeah. think Giannis this year struggle was bigger because don't forget. Last year, when Giannis then got kicked out, remember people were saying Giannis will never win an NBA championship as long as he can't shoot. Because I think, who they played against? Was that Philly? Where everybody was just parking the lane and dropping back. And he literally couldn't do nothing because everybody was just park, parking the lane, dropping back. And people was like, oh, they figure Giannis out. Until he get a jump shot, he's never going to win because they don't figure him out. Yeah, Next right. year come, Giannis beat everybody. It's like, what? But I feel like I feel like that's gonna be short lived because they're not gonna improve because they feel like they've made it now, in which they haven't because they was losing against Brooklyn and they was losing against the Hawks Boy. before Boy. Trey went down. But they ain't like they make the finals. Like Chris Paul hasn't made it yet. Giannis has made it. The man has the a, a championship. No, but I'm saying right. No, but this isn't this isn't this isn't not against his career. I'm saying because they won. They're not gonna improve their team because they feel as though they're the best team. They were the best in the league, in which they were not the best team no, in the league. Yeah, not healthy. Healthy wise, they're not the best team. But I, I told they're Michael Wickers, because Michael Wickers, we we always bet on playoffs. And I told them that the healthiest team in the playoffs was gonna win. And at the time, the healthiest team was one the yeah. Milwaukee Bucks. And it's Even the same in the thing. finals, Chris Paul got injured. Yeah, and it's the same thing for the for the Suns. Look at the moves they made this offseason. There wasn't no big moves because they felt like, okay, we made the final, so be up there. Up with your lane, bro. You, you know who I also right, want to shout out? I want to shout out Drew Holiday. People leave Drew Holiday. And, oh, see, let me just put it. But people underrate Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday mm-hmm. is one of the best two-way point guards. Also, you have to look yeah. at this man's situation. Drew Holiday, I think, had a situation with his wife a couple of seasons ago where he had to sit out. Yeah, also, like when he, exactly. And also, when he came back, don't forget, they trade Anthony Davis. Mm-hmm. So they leave you in a trash can down <laughs> in New Orleans. Your career was basically looking almost over. Your Shout wife just had a whole Holiday. thing. Holiday. And then all of a sudden, Drew Holiday gets traded to the Bucks. That was never no big news. Like, it was okay news. Like, we saw Drew Holiday go for Eric Brett. So he's like, hmm. It wasn't really upgrade. an upgrade. They'd have seen I thought it was an upgrade, but not a big upgrade. But, yeah, you know. people's like, not yeah. a big upgrade. And then when you get to the playoffs, you realize that, hey, Drew Holiday just, he's that guy. Well, he ain't that guy as a top point guard, as a top five. But he's that guy as, that's a point guard you would put on your team hey, if you already have a superstar where he doesn't have to be number one. Drew Holiday had a bad shooting series of finals, but he had Chris Paul in the Majesty's. Yes. Yeah, that man lost right up. That, that way, can, that way can get away from that. After the like second it. game. But the thing is, during the, the first two games, Chris Paul was going right at Drew. And I'm like, really? That's what we're doing? Yeah. yeah and, then, and then, I don't know, Drew must have just watched film and... He has to figure it out. He's like, wait, we can, start, we can stop one of these dudes. We can stop <laughs> this one. And, and once you cut off Chris Paul, who was the head of that, that snake, even mm-hmm. though I believe Devin Buck was the best player on the team, Chris Paul was the... The head of the snake. Once you cut him off, then it just made things a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Um, and then once Giannis started to figure out, like, wait, 
these two ain't got no odds for me at all. Yeah, that was really the uh, Shout out Aiden. <laughs> he can pull from that, but uh, those ain't got no odds for him at all. That, to you be know, honest, that, that was the only reason I glad CPC3 stayed. And it's because, honestly, CP3 could tell, I mean, watch his career. He have always made every center he played with better. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I talk about guys who really ain't offensive. You had guys like Tyson Chandler. He was one of the best defensive centers in the league, but re very rarely was considered an offensive Cleveland. power you until could, you could call, Chris Paul you could draw the lobs. Tyson, DeAndre Same Jordan, thing and Capella. DeAndre Jordan. That man made a whole career off of just catching all loops. Yeah. Now you got some, uh, oh yeah, Clint Capella, same mm -hmm. thing. Now you got yeah, someone who no, yeah. is offensively inclined yeah. and defensively inclined. And I felt it was good that I, I thought Aiden would have signed a Supermax this year, but I feel he's going to get even more money next year because Chris Paul returned and they're going to have maybe not a finals run, but Aiden will be more involved in the offense with Chris Paul this season. I feel he's going to be a top five, top ten center by season's end, and then you can have to give him the bag. Yeah, I think eventually he's a top five center. I mean, he, eventually, he's going to be the outsiders here, bro. You think he's the outsiders here? Yeah. What, centers like in the West? Centers, uh, that's probably like center, center. Or like this, mm, Aiden Poole, that he's possibly. one of the two centers who could play deep into the playoffs. If we watch the playoffs for the last few years, as it gets deeper, usually teams get smaller, hmm. right? <laughs> so usually those like Dwight Howard and Drummond them, they got to sit down the bench McGee, they got to sit down um, while you play your best players. You play Anthony Davis at center maybe, you know, you play uh, a guy like Bama Tenner who can guard multiple positions. Aiden Poole, <laughs> this year, that he's a center that can play Really deep into the playoffs, he could play big, he could play small, mm -hmm. he could he could he could uh, rebound, finish inside. You know what I mean? He could shoot the little turnaround jumper, but he just ran into Giannis, and and no. and that was his down for a little. And guess what? Not just Giannis, because AD was killing them too before he went down. AD was destroying the Sun. Yeah, and oh, this is man. why I try to tell you what's this. Listen, that's why I try to tell you this. Now that you say that, see, these people think. Basketball is a, is is Dragon Ball Z, boy, and I just don't be into into yeah. that, boy. Yeah. You say, saying <laughs> when AD went down, I say, okay, the Lakers have no chance of winning the series. I say, no, zero chance, right? LeBron fans, obviously, oh, boy, what did LeBron to do this before? I say, but this ain't got nothing to do with LeBron. I've never seen AD him. went down. Yeah, that was they. They don't have no answer for Anthony Davis. This no. ain't got nothing to do with LeBron. No, you say, you say. It was it was that it, it was that prototype player, Anthony Davis, Giannis. The Suns had no answer for all season. Not I mean, just... no one have answers for AD nor Giannis, so it's like right. you can't right. even blame but, them honestly yeah, and truly. But especially Phoenix, but they got him with Jay Crowder. <laughs> I know I told you, got it. Boy, that, 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 that could tee for salary boy. <laughs> they they got it with him. Wait, listen, so, so so they just they just end up fucking. Two of the teams with those, you know, prototype players. Uh, yeah, fortunately, AD went down the first um, round, and the Suns would have been out. I believe that too. And, and they, I, not, yeah, if they, don't mean if I, they avoided, if they avoided the Bucks in the in, in the finals, I think Suns would have been champions. Uh, if they played, all of because they Brooklyn was injured. Atlanta. But if they played, yeah, Brooklyn, yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Atlanta, Atlanta, yeah. or or injured Brooklyn, yeah. Brooklyn was getting their players back though, because Harden was already back. He just needed another week, and Kyrie was uh, coming back. Boy, I, 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 I was confident in them. beating them. I was Harden confident in nice beating thing. them, but Harden just not Kyrie. Harden was thing, but yeah, I yeah, Harden was horrible. He was. Uh, I don't think he was ready. I think he was just a decoy because they started to like double and triple the round. So they's like, let's just put Harden in the corner. <laughs> so someone gotta stay over there with him. Yeah, to give you the threat. Harden, to be honest, they don't have a very deep bench. So it's like Durant with guys. They deep this year. They 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 little deep. This um, year. they deep. deep. I think they deep. Uh, bigs wise, but guards wise, I don't think they still got it. So it's it, it gonna be intriguing. I I really want LeBron 
and Durant and Kyrie and James Harden and Melo and all these guys to meet in the finals. But we've seen it let us down before, uh, mm -hmm. like in 08, 09. You know, remember the, the cookies commercial with LeBron and Kobe? And yeah, like he was running this big ad and LeBron and just couldn't spike, make it. The Sprite commercial too. Yeah, the Sprite commercial. That was a Sprite commercial, it was a cookies commercial. He's yeah. like, LeBron, yeah. has you seen my three championship rings? <laughs> Do you even know what they look like? But anyway, the, that listen, was funny. I feel like that always gets us down. That, that hardly ever happens to two people that people expect, the two teams that people expect to make it. But if they do, that's, I think that would be the best finals. I, I, I want to make it, and I want them to make it healthy. Mm -hmm. At least the stars healthy. If you got a couple little, one little Rondo. No, I need Rondo. I need Rondo. Uh, let's see. Wait, listen, I don't know if you watched Rondo last year. I need Rondo. But I'm Rondo, Rondo. I, I, I suspect Rondo is going to play more minutes than Westbrook in the playoffs. You think in the playoffs he can play more minutes than Westbrook? I think so. Wait, I, I think. think like, I, didn't, I, didn't think last year. I don't think they can do that. I think they can put Westbrook and Rondo on the court at the same time. That's ugly <laughs> basketball. No. <laughs> you might think so, but I don't think so. Ugly. Think but about it. You put LeBron on the court with that You realize Westbrook's initial position was shooting guard? When, when he's at UCLA, he, no, when he's in he UCLA, and okay. the, only, the only reason he really played point guard uh, for OKC is because of James Harden. They actually wanted him to play the two. But what are you shooting? Huh? If he's shooting guard on, on a team with him and Rondo, what are you shooting? Who's shooting? <laughs> Claude you know shoot? Claude Lupin. AD gets nothing. Pink Claude. Who does they had? AD gets down. nothing? You realize that these are two the two best passes, like, yeah, but, but my point is... Y'all, like, say, Westbrook is hard, but the man is leading wait. the league in assists. I don't oh, understand. Those are not... Those and are not. And Russ in that backcourt, and you and you have LeBron on the wing, if she was going to steal, steal backboard. First of all, they're going to clog the paint because now. there's no shooters on the perimeter, so AD's not... AD's going to be triple teams at all times. I, I think that's the biggest... spread the floor. That's the biggest downfall of, of the Lakers this year. They have, a, they have a really nice team, but they don't have enough shooting to me. They have they Melo... Do. They have a uh, Wayne Ellington. Them no two, worries. them two dudes could be key. We can fill that. And that's, probably, and that's probably it. One thing about um, Lagos, Lagos can they just leave that one roster spot open. They can fix that by time trade deadline come. They just <laughs> want to see if this team works. If yeah. this team doesn't yeah, work, we always pick up a bio option. Want a JJ Redick or yeah, uh, whatever, someone. Nah, but, but I think the biggest I mean, JJ Redick is available. Yeah. yeah, and I feel the biggest cheat code is at the end of the day they could always just say very eighty play center, right? And if AD play a center, then you could add two shooters next to LeBron and Westbrook, and that could work, right? But if you mm -hmm. have AD playing power forward, right out playing center, Russ playing point guard, LeBron playing whatever, you don't have four niggas on the court who the defense say, okay, you know what? Y'all shoot. I happy if any of y'all shoot. Whatever. I mean, you know what I mean? Playing those numbers, yeah. Yeah. We can play a number scheme. You all three, you all four, you all three. Well, they know Westbrook to shoot it. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't. They don't have a shot. You, LeBron, and eighty, eighty can shoot, but eighty is reluctant to shoot. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he can shoot, but he, he he likes to operate in the in the mid post a little bit more, or whatever the case may be. He don't like to just stand up and shoot. So, I think defense will just play a number scheme. So I think the Lakers have to really try to bring in one or two more shooters, and wow. and. They could have, they, they, they'd probably beat the Nets if they do that. Keep in mind, too, that playoff basketball is different than regular season basketball. In the playoffs, I think they'll have to figure it out more because playoffs slow down and be more oh, yeah, half of court. But Definitely. for the regular, regular season, season. Oh, that team is a fast break yeah. team. Right. Dwight Howard right. and AD get that ball, yeah. and LeBron pushing that, and Westbrook pushing it. You know what Westbrook is doing. Yeah. These fellas has come off the rim, and before, if you get 24 seconds, by ten o'clock at twenty, fellas down to the rim. Yeah, they so have, and they have yeah. throughout throughout the season. They have a lot of different points they could you know experiment with. They could experiment with the fast yeah. line. They could experiment with the half court set. They could experiment, bro. They have a lot. They experiment with yeah. all defensive team, all defensive exactly. lineup. We look they at have, it as an offensive end, but people don't realize that when you play great defense and that team what they put together, like you say, Rondo, Westbrook. LeBron, AD, Dwight Howard. Defensively, those five people, they might not be shooters, 
But which five you know can go off on that starting five and say, oh, we could run a smooth offense against them. The second you miss, that's two points down that end. <laughs> you get another stop, that's two points down that end. Mm -hmm. The only team I could see really exploiting that is a team like probably Golden State. Because if they hit in trees, well, you could put the 89 Pistons on that card. <laughs> but the second see, you miss a ball, that's two points for the Lakers. But yeah. listen, even with that being said, right, they have a, Lakers have a very good team. It's, it, the, the biggest concerns, obviously, is, is shooting and, and health. Like, they have an older team, so now you got to make sure, you know, them dudes can actually really stay healthy for the course. Yeah, even the older fellas, man, it's Glass, Bottle, Davis, and... and, and yes, like, it's the I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. It's Andy Davis is one of the youngest fellas. And that's where Dwight Howard and... and um, DeAndre. Andrew, right? DeAndre. Wait, that nigga... Wait, wait, let me not speak. Wait, I, this Log City he, all over again. He finish. You know, you know, Lord, hey, not you think so? But listen, 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 we ain't asking him to put him back to the basket, no. All we like ask him to do is bar and catch all you. Like I said, someone other day, boy. My friend is a contender too, boy, and they let that boy go. So if that I tell you we finish, no, don't forget <laughs> that I don't win with. Don't forget that man had a $20 million salary. They trade him off because they wanted cap space. They got to, don't forget these guys can get re-signed, you know. Kyrie's supposed to re-sign an extension. They want to run and Harden on an extension. So you couldn't keep, uh, DeAndre on a on a max. Now I agree that he's finished when it comes to being a max, like a, a good top five, top ten well, center. But if he you put him under that rim where you got drivers and guys who like to throw lobs, he could give you 10, 12, 14 points. That's all we asking, bro. We ain't telling you DeAndre gotta go. He never was that guy to go off for no 20, 25 points. But he no. can get one or three, four lobs a game. That's so points. okay, but do you realize we be looking at a first of all, he ain't playing in the playoffs. If he play, if he talking eight, seven minutes max. He ain't playing in the playoffs. All right, but that. Because Dwight is the same player but better. Right. Yeah. And then you got A D who they're gonna put at the five when they wanna go small. So the under Jordan playoffs don't even look for him, right? So we just, just we just talking about regular season runs. And when the regular season runs, I could see him working with Westbrook more. Yeah. Given that they want to save AD and they want to save, you know, the backup to White for playoffs, I could see DeAndre, they running the hell out of DeAndre, you know? For sure. So I could see and that. Then, and then you can you can let go DeAndre, but you resign LaMarcus. If you had a choice right now, to be honest with you, at this yes. stage in LaMarcus' career, I'm taking LaMarcus. LaMarcus yes. to do what? What you mean to do what Lamarcus is still score on the low post, which Brooklyn, the only other score they have is is well, they just the, the top. But was the season before he got he, his little you realize that that man was hustling so much that he had almost blowing he had to retire. <laughs> but Lamarcus was in the scene Lamarcus, you know. No, he I watched them Lamarcus. games where that boy was heavy, he was out of shape. Y'all I I feel like it was at this point in time where you ask DeAndre just to catch lobs and rebound, compared to, like you say, you still asking LaMarcus to score. You still giving him the ball down low and expect him to make post moves and get a bucket. You know, right. We ain't but asking DeAndre to do that, bro. Let me tell you why, right? Even, even, even if not, DeMarcus still spreads the floor more than DeAndre. And then you know he has three ISO players. Y'all know DJ is healthy in the playoffs last year, right? Huh? And he didn't play, is, is your point? And he, no, and he ain't played all, right? <laughs> Y'all remember seeing him play all? No, but he had like a, 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 a groin issue. Yeah, he had a groin issue from sitting on the bench too long. <laughs> <laughs> no, but see, Brooklyn has, right three, Brooklyn has three ISO players. So they need to get to the rim. They can take their mind at any point. They will take their mind at any point in the game. They don't need DeAndre Jordan and his mind just sitting there looking pretty and and clogging up the paint. Why my words? He's a worse version of Andre Drummond. I miss, I'm going to lie. Uh, He's the worst person on Andre Drummond. I miss Drummond, though. Drummond, I tell you. Oh, no, don't say that. Don't say that. You're we didn't give Drummond a chance. The, only pro the problem with it is, like I say, the difference is DeAndre was starting. And with, 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 with DeAndre, I mean, Drummond was starting. But with DeAndre, we, like I said, we ain't asking much from him, bro. Y'all can't all like this. Our starting said, like, we asking him to play 30 minutes a game and do something. And Dwight Howard know he roll. Dwight Howard know. If, if, if AD catch the ball on the left side, 
you go hard, right? Yeah. yeah. You I'm stay. Oh, look. You, <laughs> when you look at when you look at when you look at what Dwight Howard does, DeAndre don't have that kind of IQ. Well, Dwight was an all star. I use a franchise player. Yeah, he, I mean DeAndre's all star for a little while too. So I DeAndre think. don't have that IQ. DeAndre don't have the intangibles that Dwight have. Dwight getting in your best player head. Dwight is an energy guy. DeAndre. I, I think he finished, man. I, 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 I do it sometimes. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I think I think he will finish. He finished um, up on a high level, but he could contribute to a, a contender. Yeah, I mean, like I say, the, the biggest thing for the Lakers reserves now was to keep the the main players healthy by taking a sucking yeah. a ball and ministry in the season. And that's, that's where Russ would have. Hey, with Russ, that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing to me about the Lakers getting him. It's because now you can keep LeBron fresh mm-hmm. for the whole season. You say saying you don't have to run LeBron body into the ground. You could say, but you could take a few games off here and there. Russ, he ready to go all eighty two. You know what I mean? Yeah. He ain't watching nothing. He ready to play the whole eighty two games. For the yeah. not, 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 not a, the challenge would be when that playoff time comes around because I, I feel as if there would be a lot of games where LeBron and Russ miss the where okay, you have to sort of an eighty of course. There's no eighty meter glass. So it's like the playoffs come around. Now you got to try to integrate uh, them three together. Say, so saying so that might be the biggest challenge right there. My 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 perspective or my my I I'm really intrigued to see what the media does if the Lakers have the best record in the league. Because I say that because the MVP is a media generated thing, and if you got Mister face of the league LeBron there but you got Westbrook there almost averaging a triple double and then and you got AD there right who was the literally show. remember the last time when LeBron was playing point guard AD was up for defensive player of the year and MVP, MVP yeah. but people still were saying oh this LeBron team yeah, and now you add Westbrook to it so if these guys go and win 60 65 games and you're looking at this team and you're seeing Westbrook averaging Let's say 22, 8 and 8. You mm-hmm. got 80 averaging 25, 10 and 5. And then you got LeBron averaging 22, 8 and 8. Basically, LeBron and Westbrook can give you round the That's season. What, what you can say now? What do you say? Yeah. You still can That's say amazing. LeBron is the head and shoulder clear cut MVP at, 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 at our team? Yeah. And you got a super team. My rule is when you got a super team, you ain't no one with MVP. Yeah, you get it to someone else. I agree with that. I wish the other people thought the same way. I wish you got to get it to someone else. Way more help than than other people. You got to get it to someone else. You can't get it. Didn't LeBron get MVP in Miami? Mm Mm-hmm. Not deserve. Oh, he's saying that it took me. Once you say it, didn't deserve. I, I, I good. We good. Not deserve. I feel the same way when the Warriors are taking steps. Time out. That's a difference though, because LeBron did deserve that. He was a clear cut. He was a clear cut leader in Miami. He was in the out in Miami. So, okay. He was the best, best, the best player, player, obviously. He obviously is the best player in Miami. Obviously, but we just say that he had too Miami. much help. Just, but now, you, now, it's not it's not obvious that he's the best player. I mean, I mean, it's kind of obvious that he ain't the best player, to be honest, on the Lakers. So, how do you get it? Don't go out there, LeBron fans, uh, light up this hey, show. I come into that. Any Lakers fan. Honestly, any Laker fan could look at it and see AD is behind that team without AD. Laker fan, don't forget, we are now having to spread this bandwagon for the past two years between <laughs> Laker fans and LeBron fans. Everybody who know me know I've been a Laker fan all my life. Everybody who also know me know I don't like LeBron. I am a Laker fan, not a LeBron fan. When he leaves, y'all make sure I carry all your yeah, stuff. Don't I leave understand. your boxes. Don't leave and the T-shirt. Don't leave nothing around you. Carry everything. I understand. Don't leave. Like the Lager fans been going through some tribulations ever since the Bron went there. I get that. Hey, they so conflicted. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be them. Honestly, I wouldn't want to be them. I look at them. I say, what happened to you? They don't. When he said the people who be happy when they win or lose, it don't matter. Real. Wait, let me show you something, right? I can lie. When eighty went down, right? Like you say, when the sun's right. I's a Laker fan, right? But the fellas is coming out all oh, LeBron, but the kid is here. That's all I said now is, but you got this way. This ball, <laughs> but y'all better make sure 
Like, just don't right. this place wrong. <laughs> ah, it's no, no way. It's like, so our switches go off and they hear when they see they about the lures, and they be like, wait, I want the raw and the lures now. <laughs> like, they ain't gonna fall with it, with it all the time. No. But if they see about the look, like, what they need on that, wait, every day can find the raw and the lures. Just wait, you see the way I yeah. see this nigga on my Yeah, you can win this by yourself, eh? You only can win this by yourself, Ryan. Yeah, bro. I don't know, oh, at some point, I mean, it, they, yeah, I I they, they get more enjoyment from it, whether they win or lose, you know, it's, hey. it's, it's a happy day for them. But I know one thing, let LeBron go down, and AD and Westbrook still there, and we care this team into the chat. Uh, uh, listen, listen, I don't think it's a championship team. No, I said carry the championship, we might not win. Oh, I, don't even, win. I, don't even, I don't even see that. Uh, it's, it's possible, it's possible. It's possible. With that team with Westbrook, they do. Hawaii down. And Melo. Hawaii down. Well, in the playoff, we're talking playoffs. We're talking playoffs. Yeah, but yeah. don't forget now. Westbrook, Westbrook, match up. Westbrook, Westbrook and playoffs. If we yeah, get, no, Portland, if we get Westbrook Portland for his round, as good as Damian Lillard is, if we get Portland for his round, good. That's past round one. No, Next hold round, time out, time out, time out. Because oh, Damian Lillard is a Westbrook killer. Don't yes. need better to yeah, on like AD said, and not Westbrook. As good as Damian Lillard is, that team cannot beat the Lakers. Damian Lillard would go off every night for probably about 40, 45 points. <laughs> I don't think. I think, I, I think if Portland, but Lakers first round without LeBron, Portland would win that series. Okay, I think so. Start, start, start us. I don't think so. I don't, <laughs> I I don't think, think so. I don't think so. Next year. I, have, I, don't listen, I have no faith in Westbrook in the playoffs. I, I don't, don't like Portland team. Outside of them, outside of them and CJ, I don't really like the team. I, I mean, don't like Portland team. Outside of them, I really don't like the team. CJ, CJ, I say. like him as a player. CJ. But CJ. <laughs> see, I like CJ as a player, but not on that's that, not, not on that particular team. Not a team. long jail. Not on that particular team. So outside of them, I really don't like Portland team like that. Um, so I, I'd, I'd say Lakers probably could win that one. And Portland, Portland. to me, Portland got worse from last year. But uh, just the Lakers, they did get worse. They did get worse. With Westbrook running the running the, the the ball, I just don't. I just don't. The ball ain't gonna move. In the in the words of Shannon Sharp, Lakers in five. <laughs> anyway, you know, all last year too. As 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 I wrap this up, before we wrap this up, <laughs> let's talk a little about uh, uh about the big tree that we've been through over the weekend. So all us would have seen a big three game uh for those who didn't know they had the playoffs and the championships and uh nassau over Atlantis. uh hopefully it's, the, hopefully it's the first of many um that they have so the playoffs was last week the uh championships was 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 saturday we got some clips for you we probably could post them up later but i mean from your experience because all of us been there all of us caught some games what do y'all think about uh, the whole uh, tournament itself? And what do y'all think about the atmosphere? I mean, I thought it was like a really good experience. So, uh, it was, I, for me, uh, initially, I was more starstruck than anything, to be honest. <laughs> First person I see walking out the door was, was Dr. J. You get to see ISO Joe play in person. But the, the thing is, I, I expect it, and I guess it's my fault because I expected these players to be themselves, them prime selves. Like when I saw Al Jefferson, I'm like, I ready to see how Jeff go to work. Well, yeah. anyway, anyway, dude, dude, <laughs> dude was I mean I don't know what, what that was, uh, and it's the scene for ISO Joe. It was like uh, it this this ISO Joe. This the big ISO Joe everyone's talking about. So yeah. I, I maybe maybe I went there with the wrong expectation, but the names that we so accustomed to, it, it, it don't it don't right the, the names don't. They don't really match up with the skill anymore. And no. it's a bit disappointing when you watch it at first. Like if you're an avid fan of it, then you know what to expect. So you enjoy yeah. it. But for me, right. that was my first time watching it. And I, I was looking for the, not prime, but you know, some Let me ask it an <laughs> Reggie Evans, that's like an Audrey. The only thing I like, I like the setup of it. He, but yeah. he, he, like, he got better, Reggie Evans. Yeah, because he always was trying. But um, yeah. I like the setup of it because at the end of the day, every game ends in a buzzer beater. So it's like, yeah. even if you have a blowout and a team, because I think it's going to 50, I think yeah. even if you have like 48 and the next team has like 21, you still playing hard that last possession because you don't want that guy to score that 58 point. 
it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's more than like when the clock running down, like how the NBA is sometimes when you have a blow, fellas holding the ball, dribbling at half court, fellas in playing no D, no O because they saying, oh, well, we done up by 20, we done up by 10. You got about 30 seconds left, just dribble the ball out. You ain't under that in big three. It's like, you could be down by 10, but until you hit that final shot, we playing. And yep. then, like I said, you had some surprise guys. Um, boy, Jared Jack was a bucket. I can be real. Sure. Jared Jack was Before a bucket sure. last week and this week. And I was like, Before where I was sure. this my guy? <laughs> where was I this in Indiana, bro? <laughs> I mean, you was nice. You was a, a good conservative point guard, but no, you wasn't just... no pull up in your face, yeah, step on a tree. He was, was like, always, he was always a guy? safe point guard. He was always a yeah. safe point guard. He didn't give yeah. you turnovers, he didn't give you no 20 points out of that. Every once in a while, he bust out for like a little 25, you know, 30, but you never saw it really at the <laughs> NBA level. Yeah. <laughs> Only if they yeah, on with, COB court. Never would he on death for you, though. Shut up, shut up again. He yeah, did on death COB court, dog is top three for true. But like, but like I say, I think I said this a little the last week he was there, too. I truly believe I get on that court, I can score six points. Now, I can't score, no, I can't score nobody. But I can, <laughs> I can get on there, I can score six D. You know what yeah. I mean? Because, they, like you say, you, you know what, I mean, you, the guys are older, you know what I mean? But at, at the end of the day, I do like how Ice Cube sort of, you know, put those rules in place to try and make it yeah. a little bit more competitive. And then they have you the four-point I mean? ball. They got the four-point ball, they got the 14-second shot clock. The far you know I mean? get one shot. But it's worth whatever shot you're cool. taking. So and I mean, you're taking a tree or something like that. You still you only have one time. Like in a, in a way that does make sense. I can be real. Nobody wants to see you stand up there and take three free throws. It makes sense. Especially guys awesome. like Giannis, them who gotta take yeah. 15 seconds to dribble mm-hmm. before they shoot. Yeah. So, so let him miss the yeah. one one time and let's go. Cool. Yeah. So in a sense, he's. I think his idea was to even try and get rid of the free throw entirely. So you got one shot instead of two. And then yeah. you get the 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 a what's it called one thing, the one on one thing what is heat time or fire, fire or something yeah. the one on one thing yeah. yeah that was pretty but nice. you get that instead of a free throw and that was really good so yeah I I, I felt as if I felt as if he um uh, he did a good job tennis. in terms of <laughs> wait that boy got hot huh? yeah but yeah yeah but yeah, he, he chose he one out of uh, <laughs> he's having yeah, offense. Yeah. He acting like he ain't father, no one. He's hacking yeah, offense. Like, Dude, throw one elbow in the male face. And male. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I like I like the rules that high school put in place. I really feel as if he tried to do a good job of like just speeding the game up. Because you know it's half court. Dudes could just get lethargic and just, you know, pass the ball around and you know. But right. he uh, you know, I think he just tried to make the game more exciting, speed it up. Obviously you ain't gonna see no dunks. Right? He used to for anyone or get off the ground. Right? But I, it's some flashes of skill. You saw, you know, Joe Johnson give you a little turnaround jumper. You know what I mean? Fargo was hitting his shots. Uh, of course, Jar Jack we raised over him. He was absolutely killing. And then and I the young, the, game, the, the younger the players, jump. the younger players that Ice Cube brought in too, like like Kevin Murphy and 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 and. Well, I don't know where and, Kevin Murphy come from, boy. You should guys me. Boy, 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 watching them play, I had to go on Google. Go I said, hold on now. Who's Kevin Murphy? <laughs> he could go, but he could go. Honestly, he, he, he nice. He nice. He's smooth too, but his game yeah. so smooth. But hey, I, I must say, um, that 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 was, is a good setup. It was a good thing. Boy, listen, if I had some money, I I I I'd throw a Bahamian big tree. My 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 <laughs> money be a hey, Furley, Prime Chameleon, and Abel. <laughs> I I, I, gotta be I why he was no a disrespect to chameleon, that's my boy. Down. But I can be real. It have to be prime chameleon. It can't be now. <laughs> but for it's able, for real chameleon can be for real. Can be them tree. No, no, yeah. no, no. That's my tree. Get your own team, bro. No, sir. Right, I hey, y'all want to see that? You can't just say you're Y'all want to see that? Y'all could go and sponsor the experts, and every dollar we make, we'll start a GoFundMe. Every dollar we make will go towards renting the ballroom. And having a big tree, a Bahamian big tree, send it around, we doing it. Now, it might make, if we can't make the ballroom, we got to go in a public park. I know. We go Malcolm Park. Malcolm. We go Malcolm, Malcolm Park. We have a Bahamian big tree. I close enough to be at. Sponsors are available. 
<laughs> but yeah, man, I, I think that atmosphere was great too, though. They, 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 get a, they get a good little crowd to come out there. You know what I mean? So it's good to see the BM and support it. Uh, with, with international events, you need that but You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. hopefully when Bal for Lana's pop back up uh, and we get the next one, the, the ladies one in Bahama should be coming at the same time. Yeah, we get the they, same support for that. They having a co-ed one this year. They having um, <laughs> they slim me on it tonight. But uh, they have been... That's going to be high, bro. That Bahama yeah, one. The ladies, the ladies one, right? The Bahama one? The co yeah, one. Yeah. It's ladies and males this year. Yeah. First time, uh, we, we covered it last year. Not last year. We covered the one yeah, the year before, uh, yeah, before, the Bahama. Yeah, before last. The Bahama Fest. And it was strictly females. And they had a time. They had a good time. It was um, well organized. It was well put together. And I felt like that's what led to this one. And um, I keep in touch with the guys who organize it. So when that come up, we can try and get some... Yeah, we can good do, coverage we can do, yeah. of that for you guys. We might even go live like, if, yeah. if our producer would allow us. Yeah. Like I said, we got a couple of clips we could probably post. Um, but, you know, like being there, honestly, I think it's an experience for all ball fans, all sports fans, just be there and see it. Like, even the game yesterday, coming down to the wire, you know what I mean? Jar jacket, the game, I, and you could see the emotion, them celebrating Rashad Lewis on a losing mm-hmm. team, walking straight off the court. I mean, I know he's walking up the court mad for he's the one who caused some loot. But he really, he really do mad to me. Uh, uh, anyway. Yeah, so hey, he, he is putting Jar Jack on him. He can score in the post. So <laughs> come on, buddy. You 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 still having fun? But anyway, <laughs> it was a great game, great experience, and like I say, for all sports fans, I encourage y'all next time y'all have a chance, and of course, we'll be on it to let y'all know what's to deal with that. You know, just watch it, man. Just watch it. Pay for a yeah. ticket. Tickets is only thirty dollars. Go through, yeah, come through with your antigen test or your vaccinated card, and and just enjoy a good experience, bro. Just enjoy a good experience. Real. And to all our audience out there, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, hopefully, you guys make this a regular Sunday evening. Oh, football start, boy. But we might have to change our days. We have some 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 competition starting next Sunday. But just to let you guys know, we back every week now. Uh, we did about, what, an hour and a half tonight, but you guys were tuned in. We're reading your comments. We're answering. Also, um, we have sponsorship available. You could email the solid parts at email the solid 242 at gmail.com. Uh, also, you could check us out on SoundCloud, Facebook, YouTube, all the major, even on Twitter. Y'all could rant with Sans on Twitter. Talk I always rant. I always rant. So hey, that's not like a good feature right there. Rant with yeah. sides. <laughs> rant yeah, with sides, boy. Rant with sides. That makes me right there, too. Uh, so yeah. you can always rant with me. Shout out, from, yeah. shout out to some of our day ones. Slimmy, Timmy, Odon. Listen, uh, listen, listen hold on. Hold on. For the for, for, for the future, let's keep the CP treat disrespect to a minimum, eh? Just bring <laughs> that down a bit. <laughs> Hey, yeah. talk your stuff, baby. Talk your stuff. <laughs> Got a little deep. But yeah, Jens, it was a good episode. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next week, Sunday. And, uh, you know, just take care of it. We out, the experts. Mm-hmm.